Hey folks, I'm Philip e, and welcome back to Star Trek New Civilizations. We are the United Federation of Planets, and we are slowly consuming the universe. So, ooh, Starbase capacity up. Like that. Let's do Habitat Control System, I think. System Capital Complex. So there's a lot of tech, actually. We'll come back off of that. Let's grab this tile blocker and get it out of the way. So we're in the process of reorganizing our fleet. Uh, I definitely need more components, but our component construction has gone up. Um, we need more alloys as well, but our crew is pretty good. So we'll continue to work on that. Alpha fleet apparently can upgrade again, so let's do these two Talimans and get them upgraded. upgraded. Well, somebody died. Who died? We do have 10 scientists. That's kind of a lot. I don't really need you. Well, you are level 5. Everybody else is... Yeah. A named character. It's just Kurtz here who is not. Uh, it's not really affecting me too badly. So I think we'll leave it. This is fine too. What does this do? Hmm. Huh. I retrain you. Be an official. That would be great. All right, for sure, in the public ascension process, uh, we can lose five hundred, or we can lose a hundred thing. I don't really think I can do this. Negotiations of the accession process of the Bajoran people into the United Federation of Planets has been complicated recently, following the recent actions of Proka Neprem, a prominent minister in the state of the Bajoran Republic. Proka Neprem has published a dossier detailing the risk of Bajoran cultural sensibilities, which could result in the adoption of the Federation's social and economic policies. Uh, I don't mind if that takes a little bit of a hit. It's fine. I do want to do this Federation Council thingy, though. Probably could have gotten the um, influence I needed to have that anyhow, but I don't want to be I'm not too worried about fast progress at the moment. Uh, let's react to a conflict. Um, it's uh, Nausikins. Looking done then. We have a leader who is idle. That's you, Kurtz. Oh, good. We'll stick you in charge of a planet. Are you in charge of a ship? You were the Wolverine, right? No. Nope. Wolverine's just not doing anything. Wolverine, where are you? Up there. Okay. Um. Here, let's upgrade the fleet. And then I'll have you do something. Yeah, it looks like you were not in charge of anything. That's good. So, planets and sectors. Do I have a planet that doesn't have anything on it? I do. Here's where I think you were. Let's stick you in charge of this, Kurtz. Kurtz, 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 where are you? listed. Am I blind? I am not blind. I do, um, officials. Hold on a second here.
Kurtz. I'm gonna stick you in charge of something. Let's wait to the end of the month and see what happens. Try that again. This is done. Planets and sectors. Are you here? Interesting. At all. You should be wearing um, yellow. Yeah, not showing up. Okay, if I go to an individual planet, so if I pop this open and I go to, uh, let's say, here. Can I click on a planet from here? There we go. Will you show up in this list? I don't think he will. All right. Well, this does not appear to be working. I'm just going to dismiss them. I do have an extra leader. He's not as somebody important. It's all done. All right. So Starbase 1 has finished. Excellent. You're finished. Excellent. 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 Nathan Samuels is once again our president. He is our president for all time. I think only for a very brief period of time. He wasn't the president. Otherwise, he's been the president for literally ever. Uh, this is done here. Can you um, build the mining stations here? It would be absolutely lovely. The rest of you can just really just sit around and wait. Because I don't have any... Anything to do. Because I don't have the uh, influence. Okay. Uh, Theta Fleet, why don't you upgrade as well? Uh, Gamma Fleet is not quite there yet. Beta Fleet, you are in Seoul, so you can upgrade as well. And uh, let's grab you some extra ships. Right now you're at full strength. Anybody else not a thing? Delta is not either. Are you at full strength yet? You are. Alpha will get there eventually. Theta, let's grab a few ships for you as well. Stress call. The stress call has been detected originating from the Paya 5A in the Paya system. Where is that? It's here. Way over here. I have a science ship nearby. I do have one not too far. Alright, let's have you head over. Do that, please. I to talk about doing a war of liberation for the Sulaban against the Nausicaan tribes. I think we're going to do that. So let's grab my fleets here, uh, but not you, because you don't have anybody in you, really. The Nausicans, we stand here, I think, would be a good spot. And then we grab the fleets here in Beta Z. And uh, they can, yeah, they can come in this way. Have them come over to there. And over here, it's a little bit of a trek for you, but I'm going to grab the uh, two um, not Federation fleets here and bring them over to here. Then we'll get ready to go. Ships upgraded. Polaris has got Delta and Zeta fleet. Excellent. Guarding up here, this is a nice 40k 
uh, fleet with uh, Brent Brett Anderson sort of commanding this sector. I like that. Um, Epsilon Fleet is down here in Beta Z with Sopek in charge. Along with this fleet here. And then you're heading out to here to be in charge here. I said stick a commander in charge of this. Okay, we'll leave it off for now. But I do need more fleets out here. We just have a 17k fleet out here. That is not nearly enough. Gonna need some more. Theta will probably go out there too. Yeah. So really I'd like two fleets here, two fleets here, two fleets here, and two fleets here. That's eight fleets at 60 each. Um what is that? That's 480. Plus the uh, extra 50 that's on Alpha Fleet, uh, that would be 520. Probably throw another 60 on there, so I could have one more. What I might do is have three fleets in Alpha Quadrant, and then two at each of my three uh, corners here. This particular uh, Beta Z corner is not particularly corner, in quote unquote. It's not particularly uh, well strategically placed because the Bajorans are not going to be are my allies. It'd be better to have them down here. And I may end up doing that. I may end up sticking them here in uh, this system. Made a trianguli. Um, but that will be in the future. And I may actually get another fleet over here uh, in this system. Or over here, maybe. Indirects. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Let's continue to let the uh, time go. The ships moved where they need to be. Delta Volantis cluster. Captain Veloth reports of having discovered a gas planet with a deuterium hydrogen isotope ratio far in excess of the galactic average. Located. The location is believed to be well suited to support an atmospheric deuterium thing. Sure. Constructed. Um, Delta Volanis is here, and I have my ship here, and I think you can come over here and do that. We also got the defense platform build speed. Great. That helps me get set up for um, defense platforms. The upkeep could be good. Let's get the, uh, the Collins refit of the Icon class. long until my, um... Oh, Tilly. Oh, how can I say no to Tilly? You are a... Commander. Okay. Uh, how long till you're done? 183, good. Uh, leaders, Tilly. Where are you? Here, another commander. I mean, sure. But no more. Surely no more. And we'll stick Chile in charge out here. Uh, which one of these is heading where? The ammo fleet will be Tilly. He'll be in charge out here. Uh, the Valerian Freeholds. Are you out of this war? No. Are you out of your war? No. Okay. We continue, we shall. You know, I probably should have um, 
brought in the uh, Cinderon uh, assembly here, the assembly of Cinderon first, because it gives me a border with um, the uh, Valerian Freeholds. I wasn't thinking about that. Let's see. Alright, who's done here? This is Starvase. Whom? Argus. Argus is defensive. Argus Tachyon. Argus. Do you need trade here? Nope. Argus can build me instead. an energy weapon array and the main structural integrity field generator perhaps sending post wouldn't be too bad or I guess I guess you're kind of close Allow me to see up to there. I suppose. Listening post sounds good. It's Argus done. Polaris. It's one of my shipyards. I wouldn't mind a third shipyard here. As well as the Tachyon detection grid. And the Lead Academy. It's done there. Dewa, yeah, we are going to have a Tachyon and Shipyard and uh, Fleet Academy. And the Devron system here. Tachyon Detection Grid. Maybe we'll throw on a single anchorage. And let's give you... A tractor beam? Rydock? logistics office. Now let's give you the big mount tractor beam, why not? It's done too. Ships in movement here. Perfect. Long for these? A whole bunch of ships. Cool. excited for our first war. It's so crazy that we've been this many episodes in and not had any wars. Theocracy of Dijal is done. Okay, that's sad. There's the uh, retrofit. Uh, let's grab damage control team upgrade. The tile blocker is done. I could increase my naval capacity again, that might be fun. Sure. It's slightly over. I'm not going to build any more ships right now until this war is over. Uh, Beta Z. Well, the Rickenbracker is done. This is my, um, one of my new fleets for the south. So this is... I really feel really bad not calling it Ida Fleet, but you know, I just don't like that name. Kappa? We'll call this Kappa Fleet. Sounds good. And 
south here. And we'll get you set up as well. So Kappa fleet, we'll add ships. Let's add ourselves the... The... Ultim. Uh, let's add a Federation type this time. We'll add, of course, of course, the Miranda fleet. Is there anything down here I wanted? I thought it would be fun. You know, let's add an Auburth down here, just because it's fun. To have at least one in the uh, the fleet. And then maybe... Uh, Zenghi? That's out of Constitution. So... Do two constitutions. Let's do four Mirandas. Let's do a couple of Aubers. Using with five. Like that. Oh no, that's awkward. You only one. I guess you're only one. This is kind of a weak fleet. Let's take this down to three. And that down to one to give me five. And we'll get another constitution class. I think. What's the Federation class? It's eight. Yeah, okay. We'll do four. I think that's a little better. We'll leave it as that. Okay. Nothing else in here, surprise? No. Efforts to map the boundary of the Delta Valenus Cluster have been completed, allowing for explorers in the region to begin the process of mapping the outer regions. Cool. It's a lot of unity. Look at it. Get us to the next thing pretty soon. Ten months. Okay. Our survey speed has increased. Advanced astromexic analysis also gives me a black hole observatory and xeno anthropological research centers. We'll see what those are eventually. And spatial sensors sound fun. Pulse cannons also sound fun. Uh, I have to get the researcher though, because that's research on research, which is important. Yeah, you guys are ready to go. You guys are not quite there yet. Construction okay. Yeah, not quite there yet. I'm getting there. In fact, I might have you stop here, actually. Special project completed. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here. Pause, pause, pause. Lots of stuff going on. The outpost has been constructed in the Delta Blanus cluster, the Blue Chameleon's hull being to provide the outpost's core structure. Automated cargo ships are already carrying the first shipment of uh, deuterium back to the United Federation of Planets. Awesome. Who leveled up? My uh, never-ending living um, leader. It now be the max level uh, supreme class, whatever you want to call it. It's 146 years old. This is crazy that he's lived this long. He's cruel, which gives him planetary problems, stability and uh, stuff. And the council agenda speed is lowered. Okay. So I could do diplomatic agreement upkeep reduction. That sounds awesome. Trust cap. And two more, two more envoys. Why not? Leader trade options. That doesn't seem particularly useful. Infiltration. No, we'll do Master Diplomat. I mean, it sort of makes sense. He's been the uh, um, president who's brought in the most members of the Federation, which is a little crazy. And uh, really done quite a bit. One more there. I'm also going to add one to the... This is the binar. Yeah, we'll add one to the 
Binar. And then I have the one more still with the gauze rice that I forgot to change. Let's add them to... Not sure about you. I do like you. Let's improve you. Yeah, you don't need to be with the gods rights anymore. Perfect. Okay! Oh, and we're up to plus two, so that means we can definitely do Jorn Ascension here as a major focus. Now we are going to do it in 23 months. Love it. I'm going to let this continue to build up, but in the meantime, we will do the government, ethics, institutions, council, uh, let's do conflict, and let's uh, condemn the... Actually, let's go back. condemn the Tholian Assembly. Yeah, that'll take me over 100 in case we run across another event. I think most events are around 100. Yeah, there's control teams, level 2. Excellent. Oh, Federation class upgrade to the, is that the Concord? Concordant? Something like that. Done you, so let's knock you off. You have a big problem with this now. Okay. Uh, you're almost in place, and you're almost in place, yeah. Just gonna have to suck this up for a bit. Uh, any of you can need to continue to upgrade? I think so. We'll just, let's just go down the list and get some of these going. to our list. A few more to go. These ones are already upgrading, yeah. Perfect. Oh, peace between the pack lids of green. Okay, stop, stop. Contact is lost between the SS Corby, a civilian research vessel surveying the Pajem system, when it failed to make contact with the uh, station to report in its progress. The commander of the starbase has requested assistance in locating the Corby. Okay. Log updated. We'll do that. Corby. We have somebody going for the distress call. Yeah, I need a science ship in orbit in Pajem. Probably easier for me to... Oh, I have a science ship right here, heading somewhere. Emner, where were you going? I don't know. Somewhere. Well, you're going to come to Pajem. And do that for me. But you're almost already there. And another one heading up this way. You're just about there. Is this about to time out? Do you have time still? Oh, 33 days! I did send you as fast as I can. You might make it. Colony established. It might make it. No, you didn't make it. Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. All right. Well, I'm gonna have you go back to. Uh, well, let's get you upgraded while we're at it. And then we'll figure it out. Uh, something may have upgraded. Olians don't like me anymore. That's okay. I think I upgraded a ship and it's not doing anything. You're not doing anything here. That's right. So I need this system. Uh, I think that's more of our priority, so why don't we do... This. Uh, we can get another one of these done. Add some number of negative, negative traits, negative one, sounds really nice. Let's do 
copy that. I'll wait for a couple more retrofits and new ships to come in before I go in and do another ship thing. Ship run through. You're done here in Argus, that's excellent. You're done here in Devron, that's excellent. There's the new uh, ship for that class. Uh, the Miranda ship, do the Miranda refit. The Bantry, don't remember that one. Chaplin Expanse, Futures End. The USS Matador has completed a survey mission in the Shackleton Expanse and is about to set course for home when a routine scan registered a nearby distortion in space-time continuum. The sensors cannot penetrate beyond the perimeter, but the distortion has a, a graviton matrix which suggests an artificial origin. Without warning, the distortion field fluctuates and a small ship emerges from the rift. Uh, the craft is approximately 6 meters in length and scans show a single occupant. But hailing frequencies. The vessel initiates. Hello. Thank you. Become more militaristic. Okay. The vessel uh, initiates voice communication with the matador, and the occupant delivers a chilling message. Captain Gil Gilmashid Mezret, your vessel is responsible for the disaster in my century. A terror attack, part of the Temporal Cold War. You will destroy an entire solar system, ending billions of lives. I have come back in time to prevent this occurrence. My mission is your destruction. You must not resist. Because we finished diplomatic traditions, we can do this. We finished command traditions, we could do this, but I did not. We did do diplomatic. Sure. Please allow me to present an alternative. Captain um, Gil Mashid uh, Mezret engages in a lengthy dialogue with the captain of the time shift about the uh, semantics of tempor temporal mechanics. Eventually, the time shift captain is convinced that the destruction of the Matador and its um, at this point in time is not necessary. Instead, he agrees to monitor the vessel closely throughout the remainder of his existence promising to return and complete the task if ever the risk of a temporal incident is too high. Although the captain is tight-lipped about future events, quoting the need to adhere to the Temporal Prime Directive, Captain Mezret nonetheless uh, gleans some information relating to the Cold War in which he is accused of participating. You must investigate this Temporal Cold War. Gain access to the Destiny Tradition. Interesting. And Gil Meshed Mezret gains the Expertise Temporal Mechanics Treat. Cool. Neat. I wonder what the Commander um, group would have done in that situation. Uh, and you've leveled up. You are a, just a Governor. This gives Housing and Amenities. This gives Alloys from Jobs. Is deuterium. Let's do housing and amenities. Uh, that means this war is done, right? You're done here? Absolutely. Association status? They don't like them. It's too bad. I think we'll just continue to be neighbors for a little while. Death of a great leader. Nathan Samuels has finally died. We just got him as, as a leader. He's finally died. I mean, as a, an upgraded leader to max level. Wow. He's passed away at the age of 146. What an old man. The service to an empire, the people clamor for a memorial to his service and honor the leader's contributions to the United Federation of Planets. A grand event will give everyone closure and bolster ideals. Let the masses mourn. Set up a foundation in his name. Absolutely. 
A nonprofit foundation has been established by the great official Nathan Samuels. The foundation marks a deep uh, st step, a step towards peace of interstellar harmony, bringing bridging differences between communities and species. The foundation of peace is added for ten years, gives me more pacifist ethics attraction, more society research, and Nathan Samuel sadly has died. I've lost. Uh, Two, I think, envoys. I think we're up to 17. Uh, we have a vote going on. We'll see who gets in. We got some more naval capacity. That helps uh, this number, which is going to help my deficit of energy credits here. What like defense computers? Hmm. And command center. We have the terraforming tech. Maybe we'll start doing a little bit more terraforming soon. Construction complete. Ships upgraded. But the system is mine now. Uh, Captain Veloth reports that while mostly uneventful, the survey was able to catalog a number of rare transphasic compounds. Cool. Technology discovered. Uh, research stuff? Uh, positron torpedoes. Interesting. Let's get energy credits from jobs right now, because that's what I need. And... We have the flat hull points. How are we doing here? You almost there? You're in place. You're just about in place. Or you are in place now? You are. You can just stay here. This is fine. Alright, and you are equivalent to me. That's unfortunate because that means all my fleets here are not going to be strong enough to take you on. I don't think it's counting the Rigelian fleets and stuff in here. Hmm. Is this uh, fleet here? Do you have more ships now? One more ship. Uh, and this is a... Yeah, I think you are supposed to be merged together. Apparently not. I'm gonna go here. Ships in the queue? Where are you going? I don't have any lost in fleet, um, place fleets. This is how much? 16. Would be 50. That is too much. Right, I guess you're the start of a new fleet. I was going to build over here anyhow. So this fleet will be... What? Lambda. Does it have a B in it? It does. Lambda. Okay, and then I want to check out your... What are you missing? You are missing a Tolomon. This is a Tolomon. I don't understand. Reach down? No. So confused. All these are here. These don't add up. To, this adds up to 
44. And this says 48. Ah, uh, there's a Zhang He in here. Gotcha. All right, Zhang He. I'm going to uh, disband you. Now you can merge. There you go, Tilly. All right, so the Zhang He's are done. Take a look at my fleets again. Anybody else got Zhang He's that need to be removed? Hernandez, Mercury. Yeah. Maybe after the combat we'll do that. Okay. Good to know. I've got to go through and organize those fleets again. I'll probably do that between episodes. It's going to be a little finagly. Uh, it's the Eurydian fleet. Who are you? You're at war with someone, right? We have two subjects. The Interstellar Telerian State and the Sullivan Council. Interesting. You are also there. You're neutral. I don't see any of their fleets. Is this a bad idea? too involved in well. A little alert, I'm still concerned because they have equivalent fleet strength, and I don't know how that's taken into account. Should I be bringing more ships over? Maybe I should. Maybe you, Gamma Fleet, should come over here as well. Both for this side up. And uh, do you still have fleets coming in? Not you. Would it be too hard for Delta to get down here? Probably not. Alright, let's do that too. Uh, let's have them meet up. You guys to come here actually. You should be able to get down here fairly quick. This is a 10k fleet. I think I'm still gonna bring them in. I'll do that. Actually, why don't I bring them down here with you guys? This Tolomon. Sure, we'll build some ships. What are you building here? A whole bunch of stuff. They'll bring all our fleets together. Yeah, it shouldn't take them too long to get around here. Let's um, actually start building this network again. You build that traffic control center there. Uh, and you build it here. you to build it to move there. Yeah. Yeah, we'll hold off. We'll get the rest of the fleet together. I think I'm being a little cavalier with our fleet strength, and I need to cool it and recognize that um, um, 
I need to make sure that we have the full strength of the Federation to liberate some people. Let's get um, let's get the hull plating. But we're at max uh, minerals again. I'm gonna sell a little bit of minerals. get there. Basically just gonna let this fast forward for a minute. There's jobs, okay. It's an ECM jammer, I guess? Or the phase let's get the turrets. One of our other official dies. Oh we got a hurrah! Oh. Oh. Game. Game, I have eleven Fox scientists. Can't hire another one. Somebody you want to get rid of? Meseret is my temporal mechanics guy. I don't want to get rid of him. Could get rid of Talim. Look at how high level they are, though. Some of these people are going to die off soon. Uh, Marth might. The rest of you, I don't think, are very old, no. Let's look up who Carol Marcus is. The name really sounds familiar, but I can't remember who that is. Or I just can't afford to bring you in. Too expensive. And we got two more here. Robert Wellesley. Or Wellesley? Wesley? And, um, Dylan Valras, who I don't, don't know who that is. I don't really know who Robert Wesley is either. Um, so I should look them up as well. I have too many commanders as it is. They're all promising commanders, and they're all good, and I want to keep them all. I'm not getting rid of Vermin or Tilly or uh, Georgiou. Anderson, not that old. April. No, Sopek is the only one who's really old. He's almost 200 years old. I guess. Uh, I could hire some more officials. That's true, but we don't have one here. Um, looks great. Um... Maybe we'll get another human official, the Igor. We'll stick them in charge of a planet. I suspect some of these, yeah, like this one doesn't have anybody. Sounds better. Alright. We do have this again. Maybe I can react to one more war to get a bit more, um... Uh, what do you call it? Um, influence? Could knock off one of these. Diplomatic Grants is the only one I think I have running, actually. So maybe we'll leave it alone. You Council. Uh, let's do a reactive Catholic conflict. We'll do the Romulan one. Uh, let's condemn them both. That would give me enough to do this. Or here. It's not super duper useful. done there. You're almost done there. Only got one more to go here. The rest of these um, civilian ships. 
Okay, you're waiting to expand down there. Uh, any of these? It's a savanna and a savanna, okay. You're over here. Uh, I think I'd rather have you do the traffic control. Uh, actually, I will do one more here. Get those two done. It'll get us close to being all done. Uh, Mesret, why are you not in here? Seems odd. A welfare minister is leveled up. So unity from jobs, I like that. And then Serene League is gone. Hold on, pause. What? The Tholians absorb the Mentakins. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Especially since that bums up all of my borders, since I can't, um, be neighbors to any of these people. Maybe we'll have to take a little bit of territory off the Tholians. Like, even just these two systems would help, because that would give me a border with both the Bynar and the Cadence. Maybe we can liberate some Matakans. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Burnham's leveled up. They're in charge of a ship, I believe. No, they're governing. More leader trade options, or you're better at commanding a ship. Let's do competence. Here's the alloy cost coming down. Uh, let's get the Ares class refit to the Aphrodite. Get a procrastinator. That doesn't sound like Giorgio. I got some ships not doing anything. You're here in the Valeris sector, not doing anything at all. That's because you upgraded. Can you upgrade again? Ships upgraded. There we go. And then... Donuts. You're over here. You can upgrade again. Um, survey is complete. Is this done? The Shackleton Expanse? No. There's nobody in the system, though. Are we done here? Hemner, are you here yet? Hemner is not here. Hemner got nuked doing something else. Uh, I'm on the wrong page. So, Nunyan Soon. Was Hemner our president? Hemner is our president. Cool. See you over here, done. Uh, I don't think I need another ship out here. I'll keep the scepter sitting here, but I don't really need it. All this other crap getting built. Yeah. All right. What are you doing? You're coming. Marth got uh, another negative trait. It's unfortunate. It is the Corby. I'm wondering what happened to that mission. The uh, Velkian has found the Corby adrift in orbit of Gem 4A. Operating on minimal power, scans of the vessel are ineffective due to an indeterminate source of interference. Hales return no response, leading Captain Nunyan Soong to the conclusion that the Corby's crew are incapacitated or worse. 
As no further information can be gained from staying on the USS Velkian, the captain authorizes to dispatch an away team. The executive officer orders the preparation of a shuttlecraft. While warning, communications will not be able to penetrate the interference, isolating the team. Use a transporter. I'm worried about the inter inter interference. So let's launch a shuttlecraft. As the shuttlecraft nears the disabled Corby, its first officer uses the registered command codes to open the shuttle bay doors and land inside. Apart from one of Corby's shuttles, uh, the hectic arrangement of cargo containers, and the bay is empty. Lit only by flickering emergency lights, the bay looks eerily deserted. Um, while away, while the away team is presented with two options, the process to bridge, to proceed to the bridge and access the ship's log is paused and possibly find survivors or head to engineering and try and restore power. Bridge must be secured or restoring power is a top priority. If this was Hemmer leading the mission, I would probably do restoring power. I think we need to figure out what's going on here before we turn on the power. So let's, let's do the bridge. Hey, it's the Bajorans! Thousands of delegates from across the Bajoran uh, Republic have gathered in the Great Council Hall on Earth formally signed the Ascension Treaty welcoming uh, Hacton IV into the Federation. Um, the First Minister Dehi Sul stands beside side by side with President Hemmer um, and the leaders of other member worlds as billions of individuals watch historic events in public places and homes across the Federation. Awesome. We'll take a look at the Corby in a second. Uh, let's just take a look over here. Okay, there's the Bajoran space. Looks like we're okay for stuff. Yeah. Good, good. Got a bunch of stuff. We do have a bit of a network down here that we should hook into with Beta Z this way. We'll work on that. I said the Gauzerites didn't really build much of a network, but they have a little one here. That'll help. Or Grazerites. Gotta say that right. Grazerites. Alright, what's going on here? Uh, oh, we have any more planets to settle? No. Okay, just this one here. We're working on. Forcing the shuttle bay doors open, the away team enters the adjacent corridor. Scratch marks cover the walls and damaged power couplings spark beneath broken, burnt-out planets. Uh, panels. Uh, on the deck are the dead bodies of many of the civilian crew. No discernible wounds can be found, and the interference prevents a more thorough examination of tricorders. Proceeding further to the ship, into the ship, yet more bodies are found, all lifeless. Finally, the away team makes it to the bridge. A Still at red alert, half the bridge crew lay huddled in a corner, weapons in hand, all dead. The captain and a few others can be seen slumped in their chairs, seemingly unprepared for what attacked them. Man, I recognize this scene, but I can't remember what episode this is. This really looks like early next generation, based by this. I don't remember. Access the captain's logs. Uh, we will abandon them. Yes. Uh, the captain's visual logs appear on screen, becoming more disheveled with each log. Yes, 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 I remember this. Uh, ship's log supplemental. After completing scans of Pajem 4A, we detected a strange energy field on board the ship. It had been disrupting communication systems throughout the Corby. We have lost contact with engineering. I have sent security to investigate. Warp drives and main power are now offline. No more contact can be made with anyone on the entirety of the engineering deck. Crew members who have now gone missing and strange reports are coming from all over parts of the ship are still in contact. We are the last ones left. It will be coming for us soon. The screams can be heard uh, from away team members standing guard outside the closed door bridge. 
Return to the shuttle bay immediately or defend the bridge? Ooh. Ooh. I wish I remembered this episode. This scene that you can see in the picture there, that really twigs my memory of that episode, but I cannot remember how it concluded. It's been so long, I'm gonna have to watch it tonight. I mean, that's just the solution, right? Bend the bridge or return to the shuttle bay immediately. Good run. A little worried if I defend the bridge, everybody will die. Let's return to the shuttle bay immediately. Regroup. I think that makes sense. Logically, command, decision, go back to shuttle bay, regroup at the shuttlecraft, escape the ship, go back to the, um, the Valkyrie, I think it is, whatever our science ship is, and uh, reassess what's going on based off of the logs that we just recently accessed. Yep. I think that makes sense. Let's see what happens. Says so Corby. Pursued by what the away team can only make out of some kind of energy-based energy illuminated infrequently by flashing uh, alert lights, they make it to the main shuttle bay. Uncertainty as to its effectiveness, they seal the entrance door shut with their weapons um, hoping to buy time for the escape. So we can transporter them away or get them back in the shuttle crab. Judging by this picture, does that look like it's flying through a door? Might be. I'm a little worried about this interference and transporting, which is why I took the shuttle crab in the first place. I think we're going to take the shuttle crab back. Get in the shuttle craft. According to the shuttle, the crew witnessed an entire... The entity passed through the walls, oblivious, not... Obviously not bound by the same uh, point of access used by the away team. Initiating the full impulse, the shuttlecraft barely makes it away in time. Content that the entity is not following them in space, whether by choice or by lack of ability, the away team uh, set to return course to the USS Valkyrie. Providing their mission report to Captain Union Su, the decision is made to scuttle the Corby to prevent any further deaths. Understood. Neat. And I really wonder what that mission looks like in um, in the actual TV show. Let's get some more edict stuff. But anyhow, that takes us to the end of this episode. Hopefully we'll see you soon in the next one where we uh, absorb the next person into our empire, probably this council. Maybe I can get somebody else to join before that happens. Uh, they're still occupied. We'll have to take a look, and we are preparing for war to liberate the Sulaban from the Nausicans down here. Uh, which won't do a ton to help us, but it'll do a little bit. Anyhow, hope to see you then. Have yourself a wonderful day.